Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we are going to dupe the new Jeffree Star Cremated palette but I'm going to create a bit of a smaller dupe for it. So it's more like a duping the vibes of the palette. I'm not going to dupe shade by shade. I just want to show you that I have basically all the shadows in this palette but less of them. So I have maybe half of them. So I'm going to create a 12 pen palette today. And maybe that's all you need. You have to decide for your own, but for me, that's enough cool tone shades in my collection. I have a lot more in palettes, so I really, really have enough of them. So I thought I want to show you these 12 shades that are basically all the colors that are in the new Jeffree Star palette. So, so if you would like to see my dupe, then keep on watching. Now let's start with the deepest shadow like in his palette. And I'm starting with a matte black shadow. This one here is from Makeup Geek and it's called Corrupt. And yes, we're just going to start with it here. It's just a basic matte black shadow. And it's great for deepening up any cool toned look you want to create or any look in general. And that's what it's looking like. Then next I have a cool tone dark brown color. This one here is from Lethal Cosmetics, it's called Nocturnal and I really like this one to deepen up cool toned looks because it's so cool toned and it's almost grey looking. I don't know what it is about this shadow but it's a beautiful beautiful color, very creamy. Then next I have a more kind of a warm toned dark greyish bronzy color. Now this one here is a deep potted shadow from Morphe. It's called Diversion and it's from the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Dark Magic palette. So you can see it's still cool toned but it's a bit more on the warmer side. Now this one here is from Makeup Geek. It's called Barcelona Beach and it's a beautiful cool toned brown transition shade. So for a long time this has been my go-to transition shade. So if you want to create more of a cool tone brown look, you can use this one in your crease and then this one to deepen it up and then maybe this one all over your lid and you have a great look. So this is what our first row is looking like. Then next we have this very light gray color. It's called Sand Dollar and it's from Makeup Geek. I don't know if it's still available because I don't know which shades they have now that they have rebranded and which one they discontinued. I don't know, but this one is a very nice, very light gray color. Then next I have this gray color and it's called Friend Zone and it's from Makeup Geek again. I know that they have some cool tones in their shade range, so you will find something similar to that if they haven't kept this one. So it's called Friend Zone. So this one is a very creamy eyeshadow. I oh, love this formula. It's so buttery. It's a very rich gray color. So it's looking like this. Then next I thought we need a very light, more kind of a neutral cool tone transition shade. I don't know how to explain it. And I have this one here, it's called Stone and it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is basically my perfect cool tone transition shade. So I love this color. That's why it had to be in this palette. I think it's a great one. I don't know if it's showing up. Okay, then next I have a champagne shimmer because I think a classic champagne shimmer complements every cool toned look. And I have a champagne that is not too warm, not too cold. And I think it will go with every other color in this palette. So I have picked Chamomile, which is a single shadow by Cleonard Cosmetics. and. This is a beautiful, beautiful formula. And I think that this color adds so much to a look and you can use it with the more browner tones or with the grayish tones in this palette. It's a beautiful, beautiful shadow. So yes, this completes row number two. And already I feel like you can create so many cool toned fun looks with these eight shadows alone. But now let's continue with the last row. Now the next shadow is from Colourpop, it's called Goody Two Shoes and it's a very deep greyish metallic shadow. 
and I think we really need something deep metallic that's more cool toned because when you look at these two the one from Morphe is way more warm and more brown toned and this one is way more cool toned and more like a gunmetal. I really really like this shadow it's so rich in color and so creamy I love this one so the next we need more of a lighter silver color and I have one in my collection that I love so much and that I use so so much and it's from the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette. I have departed this shadow. I think for a lot of people this would be a very bright silver color but for me it's more like a mid-toned silver and it's a bit more, I don't know, it's a bit muted down and it's perfect for every day. So when I want to have a very simple, very easy and fast look, I just apply this shadow all over my lid and I'm out the door. So it's my go-to shadow for an easy and simple all over the lid look. So this is the shade Power Cut. So the next we have two very light colors because I think we need an inner corner highlight and so next we have this one here it's from Makeup Geek and it's called Stardust and it's a very icy shimmer shadow and it's just an icy white color and it's the perfect inner corner highlight for a very cool toned look. And you can see here it's not very foiled looking it's more like I don't know it's more like a shimmer so it's not a metallic shadow it's more like a shimmer shadow and I think it's perfect as an inner corner highlight and then our last shadow is this one here from Makeup Geek again it's called White Lies and it's a matte white shadow So here is our last and final row and I think overall I really have the color story of the Jeffree Star palette here. It's smaller and you don't have the variety that he gives you in his palette but I just wanted to give you some inspiration and some ideas and now I wanted to show you three more options that I have in my single collection and the first one is from Lethal Cosmetics and it's called Unearth. And it's also a very very nice cool toned brown transition shade and as you can see it's almost the same as Barcelona Beach from Makeup Geek but I don't know if this is still available so maybe you want to check out the one from Lethal Cosmetics. I'm going to swatch it for you. So it's looking like this and then the next one is from Makeup Geek and it's called Bedrock and I'm pretty sure that they still have this one and this is just almost the same shadow as Friend Zone, but it's a tiny bit deeper. So it's also very very grey toned. You can see it pretty good when you see them side by side. This is way more brown and this is way more grey. So if you like that better, this is one of my favorite gray colors in my collection. And then next I have another one from Makeup Geek, it's called Four Fur. And they're almost looking the same, but this one is a bit more purple toned. And when you see them side by side, you can really see the difference in tone. So, so just to give you a bit more options, I really appreciate his color story for giving us so many cool toned options because I think a lot of the times when you look at cool tones they almost all look the same but they're all a bit different but keep in mind that on the eyes maybe it doesn't make that much of a difference so I would say you wouldn't need all of them and yeah as you can see I'm a cool toned lover or I wouldn't have this many single shadows that are cool toned so because I have so many cool toned shadows and because I love them so much I just wanted to create this video for you guys to give you some options and some inspiration and so I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. 
If you did, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about my dupe and if you want me to make more dupes of Jeffree Star palettes, I could also dupe all the palettes from him. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I wish you all a beautiful day.